Hello, viewers. This is Michael from Three Reviews, bringing you a new podcast on my setup called the Super Sentai Review. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I try to do my best not to be too hard during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cost any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change to an adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change to an adult language. If you're under 18. Now, if you're over 18, that means that means you're okay to watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, with this and everything out of the way, before I begin, you know, sorry for the late review. I had something to do to do the other day. Hold on for a minute. <coughs> <coughs> Add sneak. Hold on. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry about that, folks. So, anyway, sorry I'm late for you doing this to be on the latest episode of King Ogre. I was, you know, you know, I was going to post it yesterday, but, you know, I had some things to do yesterday. So, basically, this is why the reason I'm doing this review on the latest episode of King Ogre today, because I had some things to do yesterday and whatnot. So, anyway, so, anyway, let's get into the topic of the latest episode of, of, of King Ogre. So, basically, the episode starts off like this. So, basically, Garen is, so, basically, we see Garen and all the King Ogres inside, 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 Inside the, inside the castle, inside the sugar and castle, or inside the castle, and giving everything, reality is starting to set in for doing that, you know, that he's now the king of, of sugar and. So basically, you know, Garen is like, you know, it's finally realized, you know, Garen defeated his brother, you know, Rackless, and now he's the king. So basically now, everything starts to set in, like, you know, reality is starting to set into him, like, you know, we're like, you know, I'm, not, I'm now the king. So basically, I'm the king, uh, I'm, I'm the king of children now. So basically, like, you know, well, so basically what I'm gonna do. So basically, like, you know, the other, the other, the other, the other rangers who, who rangers, like, you know, well, well, that's up to you. <laughs> What's up to you? Long, long as you don't do, long as you don't do what, what Wackless does and did, you know, you're okay with us. So anyway, so anyway, and that's when Jerry said that, hmm, it started to, it started to get, give the, get the others a history lesson. So basically, it turns out the original, the original King Ogre used to fight and argue all the time. So basically, the, the, so basically the Red Ranger of the group, you, you know, decide to start to start to have complications, and basically, whoever wins this, like, uh, and. Uh, and, you know, a trial of competition to settle these, you know, settle these arguments and, and disputes, and basically whoever wins, whoever wins the deal, wins all the challenges, get to, get, get to, get to, and you know, get to, you know, get to ask for anything. So basically the Red Ranger beat all the, the, the original Red Ranger of, of the King Ogres beat or, or, or beat the others and suggested that, you know, and ask for the for each of them. It's pretty obvious that can It's pretty obvious that you know, you know, they can't move a you know. They can't move, they can't work together in building a nation together. So basically, he suggested that each of, each of them start their own nation. That way, mm. that way, you know, mm. we uh, that way that way that will help us, you know, better to work together. But also, from not uh, not you know not uh, not getting into each other's faces at all. So basically, and that's what the other ranger suggested that you know, since you're the king. A chicken now, to chicken is pretty much the main, you know, pretty much the nation, the nation that you know manufacture all the goods and whatnot. So basically, like you know, they challenge given to to competitions, and if they win, you know, they get a request. From, they get to uh, they get to ask him anything that that he, that he's able to uh, give them and whatnot. So and, you know by the power of children and whatnot. So anyway. Mm -hmm. 
So basically, the first competition was it basically a was it one answer quiz by Yama. So basically, Yama asked him about uh, asked him about the about the system, how the how the Zord system of the of the Zord work, and basically, Giren got that wrong, and basically, like you know, Yama win that challenge and whatnot. So anyway. <laughs> While that was going on, we see Douglas and 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 Nia Sopa trying to get a job working as a servant at at, at Nia Sopa. And basically, we see we see most K, you know, Yama servant, you know, interviewing you know Douglas. And basically, he wanted to see Douglas' computer skills, but turned out that Douglas does not have any computer skills, and he ended up blowing up a laptop. And and most K said. Hey, sorry, sorry, <laughs> you're not qualified to be the servant of on the sofa. So basically, then we cut to, then we cut to, then we cut to, then we cut to back. We cut to another competition. We see he, we see Gilbert versus, huh? You know, he, he, Hemo, and basically is about you know the competition to see who can. Who could play the piano better? So basically, Hemo, who is a master piano player, played that piano beautifully. And once given to press a key off key, he automatically lost that competition. And basically, Hemo won that, won that, won that, won that challenge. So basically, while that was going, after that was done, Richie, Richie Douglas at Isabella trying to get a job as you know, as a servant. For, uh, as, a, uh, as a servant, you know, would be interviewed by Sebastian, who is Hemo servant, you know, to get a job uh, as a servant in, in Savannah. So basically, uh, so basically, Sebastian put the put Douglas to a test. All you got to do is hold hold a tray with a sword, and while while balancing some hot uh, by balancing some hot water on your head. So basically, uh, so. So basically, you know, Doctor Sport, this is going to be an easy task, but you know, but turns out, you turns out, you have to be, you you have to balance the balance the hot water by holding holding the tray with the sword while you're moving, and basically, Doctor ended up turning that uh, turning that interview, and basically, and went on to the next interview and whatnot. So basically, Kagaragi. <laughs> Chance given to a cooking contest. Kakaragi being Kakaragi, you know, basically ended up using his stuff ninjas to help him, help him win, win the cooking contest. And Gary said, "Whoa, oh, that's cheating! That's cheating right there." So basically, no. Whoa, you did not. I said we had to. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We did not set in this. This is a cooking challenge. Well, you didn't say we didn't need any type of help or whatnot. So basically, you know, and you know, Kakarot said, "Oh, he didn't really set any, you know, I, we didn't set any any type of rules for this cooking contest, did we?" So anyway, Kakarot won, won, won that chance against Garen and whatnot. So anyway. <laughs> So anyway, we see we see Douglas talking to Kagawa uh, Kagawa's head ninja dude, wearing you know wearing the ninja outfit and the ninja mask and whatnot. And basically, you know, things like everything was going well to Douglas. It seemed like Douglas was about to get a job as as a new ninja as a ninja working for uh, working for Tofu. But Douglas, you know, got hot and took off his mask, and therefore and therefore. Uh, Kada, who is the head ninja for Kakaraga's ninja uh, ninja age, you know, said that you know, I'm sorry, we don't take, we never take off our masses, so therefore, since you took off your mask, you know, you're, 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 you're you can't get a job here. So basically, I don't know where we see Mafa, we see Mafa, we see readers a Mafa Fino, Mafa Fino showed up and took and took. 
Douglas, you know, <gasps> back to uh, Goki, and basically, and basically she's, uh, she, so basically she was going to lock Douglas up for all, for all the cards that he, he, that he helped, you know, that he helped with, you know, help Wackers commit, but instead she was like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, instead, like, you know, I can, you know, I do, when we just not around, you know, I had the power uh, on technically the, the substitute chief justice of Goki. So basically, I can put you into, I can put you into jail. <laughs> I can put, send you into jail right now, but instead, you know, I can give you a job working working for me. So basically, you know, Douglas was happy that he that you know that Mafo that Mafofino Mafofino was was going to get him, you know, was not was not going to lock him up, you know, and offer him a job. But instead, but but he realized that you know that Goki is way too cold for him. Him and basically, he's like, you know, oh, I don't know about that. And basically, him and Mafino got into it, and blah blah blah. And and the final chance between Gear, the final, the final chance between Gear and versus Rita was a staring contest. And basically, you know, you know, Rita, uh, Rita took, you know, you know that mask that covers her eye, it covers her eye and face, you know, and you know, and basically, you know, when the then contest started, you know, she took off that, she, on just her mask, and basically, like, you know, Gary started to laugh at her, at her, out of her white eye that was white, and basically, like, you know, the others, like, like you know, what the hell is, what the hell is so funny, and basically, you know, you know, we just felt, felt her feelings with her, but she did, it felt kind of hurt about, you know, that game was laughing about her white eye and whatnot, but the others did not see Rita's white eyes, so basically it was a bummer and whatnot, so basically she does, she does have some feel, you know, she does feel a type of way, and if, and, and, you know, about, you know, she does, she does have, she, she's very sensitive about her white eye being white and whatnot. About her white eye being white and whatnot. So anyway, Douglas came to his senses and he went back to Sugarland and tried to and tried to and, and tried to and tried to make peace, you know, and tried to make kiss for Garen. So basically, Garen was like, you know, hmm, was was going over the crashes for the Rangers for the other Rangers who who beat them in the contest, you know, basically simple shit. So basically like, you know, you know, Kakarako wanted to be, you know, wanted to be the head Kakarako wanted to be the headman that supplies food to Sugar Rum, you know, you know, Yama wanted to be the head tech man that applied technology to Sugar Rum, you know, uh, Himo wanted to be you know, wanted to be the head person that supplies medicine and uh, medicine to, Medicine and health products to sugar and, and as for Rita, she just wanted a she wanted a mafo mafo show produced by sugar and you know, basically you know that giant yeti doll named mafo she wanted she wanted she wanted you know she wanted you know she wanted she wanted sugar to produce a a a new muffin show for uh, uh, muffin show and whatnot <laughs> and basically that like, you know. Mm, and Douglas was trying to help, you know, was helping out Gary. So basically, these questions, you know, pretty much, pretty much, you know, even though these, two, even though these two do help out the East Nation, but at the same time, you know, it could have been worse. So basically, like you know, like you know, so basically, you know, I know, you know, I know. After you lost a challenge, you kind of doubting your confidence as as being the new king of sugar, but it's up, but you know, this is what you chose, and so basically, you know, there's going to be times that you will doubt yourself, and you know, doubt yourself, you know, as a leader of your, of your nation, but at the end of the day, you must find that confidence that you need to be a, an effective leader that, that your nation needs you to be. So basically, so basically, like, Gary, you know, Gary, you know, let bygones be bygones and have Douglas back as his, as his, as his aid of the king's guards and whatnot. And basically, we see, we see, uh, 
Diehard attacking Sugar and basically, basically Gibbon showed up and basically transformed into his golden boy and started to fight uh, and started to fight Daigo uh, Daigo and whatnot. So basically, it seems like Gibbon. So basically, during the battle, Gibbon noticed that Bunt was uh, was on the battlefield and was about to get struck. Uh, was, was about to get hit by by Daga's finishing attack. So basically, lucky for him, you know, lucky he was in his golden sword, he was able to block their attack and basically and save Bunt from getting, getting, you know, getting badly injured from Diagon's attack. And basically, you know, Douglas makes sure that Bunt got to a safe, safe, uh, to a safe place. And basically, the other, the other rangers showed up and basically, and basically the episode ended with all six of the key rangers, you know, was about to fight General Diagon of the of the Bugwa Empire, uh, of the Bugwa Empire, and basically that's how the episode ended on this note. So basically, I would say, mostly this episode was kind of like a clip show, but at the same time, it did, it did, it did, it did, it did help Gibbon realize, you know, help, did help, help, a better, you know, help, help Gibbon realize that, you know, maybe he, he still has a lot to learn to be a king, now that he's a king of, of, of his nation now. So anyway, this was a good episode. Once again, I'm sorry for the late review of this episode, Episode of this latest episode of King Oja, you know, I had to start the new yesterday. Sorry for that. But anyway, it is what it is. So anyway, this was a good episode. Anyway, what do you guys think about this episode? Anyway, signing off from Screw Reviews. One.